Hello, and welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those of you who haven't met me, my name is Ron, and today we're going to do an after-action report of Nevermind the Bullhugs Deluxe. So let's get started. Finally got a new copy of the rules. It's been a while since I've played the game, so uh, I thought it was about time to do another video here on the channel. I hope you enjoy it. I don't doubt at all that I'll probably make some mistakes, but we'll, uh, we'll do the best we can. side we have Edward Earl of March he's in command of Vanguard one bill unit and one bow unit and a some mercenary Scottish gunners then we have William Herbert in the back there William Herbert is in command again of a group of bills a group of archers the knights and some more hand gunners and then Walter Devereaux's command is this unit of men-at-arms. On the Lancastrian side, we've got Jasper Tudor there. Again, unit of bills, a unit of bows, and men-at-arms. We have Owen Tudor, his father, back there, with another bill unit, another bow unit. We're going to be proxying that. Uh, you see the back rank in the bill and the bows there are actually crossbowmen. I'm short six crossbowmen figures, but we're going to use those as bows. Then behind them is a French uh, skirmishing crossbow unit. And then over here we have a Butler's command. Butler has a unit of gallow glass. I'm kind of bending the rules using gallow glass. I don't know if they're... I'm using the, the rules for them that are in the Hibernia section. Uh, behind them is some Flemish pike and a unit of Kerns as skirmishers. All of the commanders in the game are going to be twos for skill, except for the Earl of March, who is a three as a hero, because I think he rates as that historically. I'm going to go ahead and just go with the sides that the figures are on. So it's going to be the York first. They can start up to nine inches into the table, and they cannot be, except for the skirmishers or any light horse, they can't be within nine inches of the edge of the table. start in the maneuver phase. Maneuvering phase uh, allows you to try to flank and things like that. We're going to just keep alternating moving one action move a unit until somebody fires a shot which ends that phase. And we're going to start with that same die roll. So it's going to start with the Yorkists. And the first thing we want to do is move these fellows over here. Skirmishers move eight inches and ignore terrain. First move, similarly, we do something very much the same like that over here with the kerns. Fashion. These are hand guns across. 
crossbows. It's a nice piece of terrain. And the handgunners are going to shoot at those crossbowmen. Five's the hit. That's one hit. Um, they would normally save on a five or higher. They're going to save on fours or higher. Six. They save. Trees save them. That ends the maneuver phase of the game. So we go to the first regular turn and we'll begin the game proper. So the first card we get is William Herbert. The main force is William Herbert over there with two commands. So he's going to give a command first to the block. I'm calling this rough ground, the field. Okay, they're going to, for the first action, they're going to wheel. They can wheel up to 45. And they're going to move for four. So he gets a free move there. And I'm going to order these guys to come up behind. Next card we get Edward, Earl of March, the main commander of the Orcish side. He's going to begin moving his way across that bridge. And he has, you may remember, three orders. Himself, follow it behind them. Walter Devereaux. Bonus. So on a bonus, we have to roll off to see who actually gets the bonus. It's going to be York again. We pull a card. Perk. Take one free action with one unengaged friendly unit. Now they don't have to do that immediately. They get to decide when to do that. They're going to keep 
keep that card. They have to do it this turn, actually. So, now think about that. They they've already activated some everybody. So, Let's see what they say about rivers. They're gonna go ahead and move across this river. James Butler. James Butler is the commander of the Irish over here. They are disarrayed for having crossed that. Bonus again. So we'll roll again for that. Yorks again. They get dummy. Keep the card. Dummies don't really work in this game when you're solo playing. All right, York, skirmishers, and artillery. The handgunners can shoot. can't really shoot because they're out, out of range. They could move, but I don't think they want to do that. I'm going to pull another card. This is the Lancastrians. I only have the one unit I can do anything with. These guys here. They've got the gunners coming up on them on the other side of that rock. Some of them can shoot. It's not a great shot. Only I've got to round down because it's skirmishers aren't skirmishers and only these, I'm going to say three, so... <laughs> well, that was lousy. Um, complete mess. Owen Tudor. Owen Tudor is this large force right here. And Jasper Tudor. Jasper should not have gone. Oh well. You're supposed to actually stop when there's one card left and I just realized I didn't. So Jasper just got an extra turn. I'm not gonna take the time to set him back because it takes so long. Maybe I'll skip his next turn. There's no morale rolls that have to be made here. All right, so turn two. Very first card is a bonus card. So we'll roll off again. Again, it's the Yorks and they get Perk. Take one free action with an unengaged, I'm gonna keep it this time. Walter Devereaux.
skirmishers and artillery. This is Lancastrian skirmishers and artillery. Now, unfortunately, these guys can't attack. Skirmishers don't do that. They could shoot into the flank of that big unit there. I think they have to deal with those gunners. So that's what we're going to do. That's going to be one hit, but they save on a four, five, or six. They save. Now, these ones are an exception. The Kerns are the only skirmishers that can actually attack. They have ranged weapons, but they can also attack. Kind of like cavalry, they have to like be successful their first trip in. So they are skirmishers, so I think they have to automatically evade. We chase them off the position. They are now disarrayed. Jasper Tudor, I said I was going to skip that turn because we cheated, so we'll do that. And then it's Owen Tudor. Tudor. All right, that's what the thing to do here is the fire. So they're kind of far. I could close for one more, but I don't want to give them an advantage when charging me, which is what I'm afraid of. But I need sixes to hit. Really? Only one hit. Which they're going to save on a five or a six. They don't. So that is an archer out. York skirmishers are artillery. If the guys that are running can't do much, they're disarrayed, I should say. Uh, these guys can do something. That's going to give them three dice. That's one hit. And one is down. James Butler. Uh, he's going to use one to rally the disarray, uh, and then they're going to pivot. And the last card is Edward, Earl of March. Edward is going to play the card he has, the perk of take a free action with an unengaged friendly unit. Gonna take that to fire with them. Oh, what do I do here? This is not good. They've got me in a bad position here. If I if I go forward, they're gonna flank me. Yeah, I'm gonna fire. They're gonna take that free action first. There's eleven dice. We need sixes. Oh. Four hits, they save on five or sixes, they take two hits. I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Now that was the free action, so this is going to be their first of their actual ordered actions. Only one this time. And they save it. Now we could fire one more time. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Mm, again, only one hit. This time, they hit one though. So a lot of arrows fired, some damage. And that was the end of turn two. Walter Devereaux. Walter Devereaux is going to have them wheel.
And fire. 12 dice. Two and three. Fours, yep. That's three goggle glasses taken out, just like that. Uh, Lancastrian, skirmishers, and artillery. Well, I think the first one to do is going to be oh, there's guys over here. and then they're gonna six javelins. Maybe two heads. Saves on fives and sixes. One save. And then I have the crossbowman in this nasty little fight on the rock. I think they've all got shots now, but still. Now it's skirmishers on skirmishers, so that's two hits. But they're going to save. All right, that's the skirmishers done. <laughs> York skirmishers. I'm going to go ahead and do the return shots there. That's three. That's one hit. And that isn't dead. And the other ones can't do anything. Oh, yeah, they could. It says the officers there now. So they can take their array off. This array. James Butler, Lancastrians, James Butler. All right, what are we going to do? I think we're going to move forward. I don't think there's much choice there. Can't keep just dealing with that withering fire. Owen Tudor. I think what we're going to do, march forward a little bit. And fire. So there's nine guys shooting. We're now Closer range. <clears throat> so that's two hits. I'm going to save on a five or a six. I lose one. Edward, Earl of March. We're going to return that fire. We're going to shoot twice, actually. So the first shot. Just two hits, not great. They don't save them. Again. That's better. Uh, only a little better. Roll off. It's going to be Lancastrian. Special event. Extra arrow supply. When one of your archer companies is shot off, its initial allocation is six rounds, they get an extra two rounds. Cool. The other side needs that. Bonus again. Dice uh, to draw a card. Lancastrians again. The luck is turning for the Lancastrians. Perk, take a free action with one unengaged friendly unit. I'm going to play that now. And I'm going to move.
And this is the last card, Jasper Tudor. Wouldn't you know it? I'm gonna have to play a card on Jasper just to move them to give that unit an order. Oh man. I'm not gonna be able to give them. Jasper's going to move up with his heavy unit, and then I'm going to order the other unit to shoot a volley. Oh, they can shoot two, because they haven't done anything. Hitting on fives or sixes. Oh, wow. That half of them are hitting. They're going to save on fives or sixes. They saved two of them. That is four wounds. And then we shoot again. Not as good. Only one. That kind of sucked. Let me save against that. All right, so the beginning of a new turn. And then we have Jasper Tudor. Jasper Tudor, good fire. I think that's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and fire for two. Well, let's fire for one more first and see if we have an effect. Yeah, we're gonna have an effect. Five hits. Saves on fives and sixes. No saves. That bow unit is being ripped apart. Probably a little help. He's wiped out a unit entirely. A friendly unit. When a unit sees the line of sight to a friendly unit of equal or higher original point value wiped out or routing within 12. That is an equal unit. So that's going to be a morale roll for them, for the bills. Five. So they're okay. We still have other units, I think, that have to roll. They're fine too. All right, nobody failed the morale rolls. Jasper Tudor needs to put an order on there. And then I'm gonna move Jasper Tudor over to here. Skirmishers, York Skirmishers and Artillery. So we're gonna do the, the guys here on the rock first. No hits. And then See them move up a little bit. And then fire at the kerns. Nope. Bonus. Goes to the Lancasters again. Perk, take a free action with an unengaged friendly unit. All right, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do it right now. Shoot Jasper's guys again. This time firing directly into those bills. The fives do not count.
two hits. No saves. Walter Devereaux. We can shoot. Eleven dice shooting. Kind of. By the way, these rolls work. Three hits. One hit. So I think I'll do it again. Edward, Earl of March. All right, Edward, what do we do? He's in a bad way. He's lost all of his archers. And if I charge forward, I'll be flanked. I'm going to pull back a little. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out of that range advantage I'm giving him. And wait to set something else up. Bonus! Another bonus roll. This time, it's the Yorkers you get it, finally. Perk. Take a free action with one in unengaged friendly unit. We do that now. We're going to charge right here. Charge with the bills. You don't want to do that because of the kern on the flank, but I think this is still not a bad idea. But the kern may have to fall back. I'm not really sure how that works either. Kern have to fall back. My Billman hit on a four or higher. So those are all hits. My Megala glasses. Megala glasses should have had extra dice. Two more dice. That gives an additional hit. Strictly speaking, I think I'm in violation of the rules. You're supposed to have two units of Kerns for each unit of Gala glass, and that's in the Hibernian rules. It's not even clear if I can use them in this game. I'm going to give them the same four, fives, and sixes. I didn't say anything different. So, fives and sixes, four, fives, and sixes. So, they save three, take three hits. And mine are clearly four, fives, and sixes. Ouch. Three hits. It's a tie. It is a tie. Except that they have, they're going to have to make a morale roll. They had to evade per the rules. They are disarrayed. So the current have evaded because of the charging in. That's the end of that. I think that's going to have done what I wanted it to do. They charged forward, which is going to clear up the cavalry, which was trapped back there. Also, if they can wipe out those bills in the gallo glasses, and they've mostly taken out the gallo glasses, they can come over here and try to help the Earl of March. But it's Owen Tudor's turn first. Owen Tudor. Oh, do they shoot? Do they go forward? We'll go ahead and shoot. What the heck? It 
two hits, two fails, took out two men of arms. Three men at arms. They're getting chewed up. All right, Owen's tutor's turn is done. Time to start getting aggressive, I think. Skirmishers, do I have any skirmishers? I don't have any skirmishers that can do anything. So, William Herbert. All right, William, what are we going to do with you? Flash, flash, flash through the water. And that is the end of that turn. Make a morale roll for the Kearns. <laughs> they just barely make it. I thought they were going to break. Edward, Earl of March. Now he's going to start coming back. Now that he's got support. He's going to order his men forward. Once more into the breach, men. That's all he can do. Bonus. All right, that's going to be. First, we'll roll for what the bonus is. Who gets it? Whoa, that was weird. I rolled a cock dice on the road. Forfeit. Play on an enemy unit when it is given an order token. This turn, it can only take one, not two actions. That's cool. Now we get to do the fights. Do we only have the one, right? So the second round of melee over here. Fighting gets uh, gets rougher and worse each each round of melee uh, as you get tired out. So this is the second round of melee. It proceeds exactly as the first round with the exceptions. The dice scores of five or higher are hits. We re-roll ones and only if you won the first round of melee. Nobody did. Both sides will take a disarray at the end of this turn regardless of when this happens. So it's nine for the orc. That's not good. That's going to be six for the Galaglass. Okay, that's not good either. So the Galaglasses save both. And the orcs save none. This is actually going to be a gallo glass of victory there. They both get disarray tokens. Oh, this should have been support. Let's go ahead and roll to see what the support does. Should have added in the third ranks. Gonna matter. Just three more hits. <laughs> and one. We have to do an immediate morale test for the Gallo Glass. I'm pretty sure that's a failure. So he beat the five, but he's still less than the amount of people lost. So that means daunted.
to following it back through a less expensive unit, the bills. So he's going to fall back for eight, facing away. And he puts these guys into a disarray. My leader's not attached, so they can't they can't follow up into those bills. That is that bonus maneuver done. The gallon glasses are chased off. Oh, that's also they have to get rid of one of their morale points, which kind of work like objective points in the game. Once one side is goes into negative on those, the game is over. Yorkist skirmishers and artillery. Which is the one we keep doing over here, the fight for the rock. See who becomes king of the mountain. One hit. Saved. And, and over here, these guys are going to fire again. Oh, let's see if they can, if they have to move. Yeah, they do. Fire at the running turns. One hit. Nothing happens. Owen Tudor. Alright, what do I do, Owen? It's time to start doing something. Owen's charged into this fight here. Um, I'm gonna have to re-roll for the support. But hopefully, I'm well, probably have enough after I roll. And the defense. The bowmen, the fours are higher, the uh, Streams. Four. That hurts. They're building the same thing. Four fives or sixes. We have to first roll, morale roll for the loser, who is the Lancastrians. I think they stay. I think they're fighting on. I do have to roll for an injured leader. I need to roll one. Nope. Bonus. We'll roll to see who gets the bonus. It's going to be the Yorks. 
perk, take a free action with an unengaged unit. Let's save that for now. This being a bonus card, we get to do the fights. And three for the boss. And these ones have to be fives or sixes now. One hit. Fourteen. So the first twelve. I don't think that was a five. Hope it wasn't. All right. And two more for the rest of support, but also two for the boss. Two more hits. Check their saves. Four, fives, and sixes. It's four, fives, and sixes. So four hits and one hit. All right. I get a roll for the boss. Nope. But the unit's gone. Not sure what that means. So that unit is destroyed. 2d6 for them. Oh yeah, they're liking it. 2d6 for them. They're fine. 2d6 for them. Alright, nobody cares. Except that the leader with a taken out a unit taken out ends the game. So that is actually the end, because it, it counts as killed anyway, because the unit was wiped out. So that's a history changing thing that causes, it means he never becomes Edward IV. Wow. Did not see that coming. I shouldn't have charged him. I should have disconnected him or took him away from that group when I charged him in. Oh well. Uh, that's game. There it is. A new video for the deluxe version of Nevermind the Bill Hooks. Not a lot of change in the rules. There's a few minor things. And there's a page that specifically tells you what some of those were. Made a huge mistake, I think, by uh, by my last maneuver. I think I should have waited a little longer with the Yorkists, with the Earl of March's uh, charge forward. Very enjoyable game. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, I hope that you'll go ahead and hit like and subscribe. If you have any questions regarding anything, I look for the comment section for those. There are also ideas for further content you'd like to see us produce here on Cry Havoc Wargaming. We look for that in those sections as well. Uh, if you'd like to receive further notification for videos like this one, I hope that you will hit subscribe and ring our notification bell. Till next time, cheers.